Good morning students, this is Latif sir. In the previous video, I was discussing about application of chemistry in our day-to-day -day life in the different field of science. And today, I will continue this topic. Today, first, uh, first I will discuss about the relation of cosmetics and chemistry. So, first you have to know what are cosmetics. Cosmetics are the items that are used to keep external body part clean, healthy and good looking. So, cosmetics, these are items that are used to keep external body part clean, healthy and good looking. Example of um, cosmetics like uh, toothpaste, talcum powder, soap, shampoos, oil, conditioner, nail uh, paints, lip paints, eyeliners, perfume, all these are some examples of cosmetics and these are modern cosmetics. Okay, And these modern cosmetics are excellent uh, examples of gift of chem a uh, gift of chemistry okay and all these modern cosmetics contain some synthetic chemicals these all these modern cosmetics contain some synthetic chemicals and uh, synthetic chemicals are generally not good for uh, for us as they are more toxic than natural substances Now see, in cosmetics, in cosmetic products, water, emulsifiers, preservatives, thickeners, pH stabilize, these substances, dye, fragrance, these substances combine in different ratio. Okay. So in cosmetic product, these substances are used. And now see, some uh, foaming uh, cosmetic product like toothpaste toothpaste samples these are some foaming cosmetic products they have sodium laurel sulfate or sodium laureate sulfate as an ingredient and talcum powder has magnesium carbonate and zinc oxide Creams contain zinc oxide, nail paint and lip color contains titanium oxide and titanium oxide is also used in sunscreen that give us complete protection from the sun rays without forming white layers on the skin. Okay, so uh, titanium dioxide is used in sunscreen and Creams contain zinc oxide, nail paints and lip color contains titanium oxide, dioxide. Talcum powder contains magnesium carbonate, zinc oxide. These are some uh, cosmetics and the com uh, ingredient of uh, cosmetics, of these cosmetics. Okay. So, if it is asked which chemicals are present in talcum powder or in sunscreen or in creams you have to answer this uh, this in uh, ingredient you have to write that is titanium dioxide is present in sus sunscreen and zinc oxide is present in creams okay and titanium dioxide is also present in nail paints lip colors and in shampoo toothpaste sodium laureate uh, sodium laurel sulfate these chemicals are used now see clothing and chemistry clothing and chemistry all type of clothes or dress are made up of some fibers some fibers are naturally occurring fibers like cotton okay and some fibers are artificially made. So cotton, cotton, linen, flax, hemp fibers, 
and wool are most commonly used these are natural fibers okay cotton then wool fla uh, flax linen these are some uh, most commonly used natural fiber okay and there are some artificial fiber also so man uh, recently one thing you have to remember natural fibers are obtained from plants and or animals and recently man started man started making fiber from chemical substances and such fibers are called synthetic fibers and more uh, and this synthetic fiber are more durable than natural fibers so synthetic fibers are more durable than natural fiber and synthetic fibers this synthetic fiber are man made uh, man made fiber and man started making fiber from chemical substances this synthetic fiber are made made of by some chemical substances and these synthetic fibers are more durable than natural fiber easy durability in any color stretching waterproofing color uh, fastness and long lasting property properties of synthetic fiber made them more popular so these are some characteristic properties of synthetic fiber that is synthetic fiber are more durable long lasting and color fastness waterproofing these are some good uh, properties of synthetic fiber now example of some synthetic fiber are given synthetic fiber such as terylene made up from ethylene glycol and terephthalic acid or synthetic fiber nylon nylon is made up from adipic acid and hexamethylene diamine okay artificial silk it is also or rayon polyester uh, spandex these are most popular synthetic fibers okay so some example of synthetic fiber are terylene nylon huh? rayon this is some uh, synthetic um, most important synthetic fiber okay and this synthetic fiber have disadvantages to because they can cause allergy and stick uh, stickiness so this synthetic fibers synthetic fibers have some disadvantages that is they can cause allergy or stickiness they are uh, they are not mean for all weathers and can co uh, can catch fire immediately and this lead to the growth of semi synthetic blended fibers such as terry coat this is semi synthetic which is a combination of terry lin and cotton now see chemicals and medicine application of chemistry in medicine all type of medicine are one type of chemical substance and medicines which are uh, actually chemical substances are also called drug are also called drugs used for the treatment cure and prevention of disease and they are obtained from plant and animal or prepared from chemicals so medicines are also chemicals so chemistry has or chemicals different chemicals you know different chemicals are used to make different types of medicines so chemistry has important contribution in the field of medicine uh, medical science okay so medicines can be classified in many categories depending on the purpose they are used for a few of these classes are discussed here one type of uh, first type of medicine is antibiotics 
सो एंटीबायोटिक्स आर द केमिकल कंपाउंड्स दैट प्रिवेंट इन्फेक्शंस कॉज्ड बाय माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स एंड वर्क बाय इधर इनहिबिटिंग देयर ग्रोथ और बाय किलिंग देम सो एंटीबायोटिक्स आर केमिकल्स केमिकल कंपाउंड्स दैट प्रिवेंट्स इन्फेक्शन कॉज्ड बाय माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स एंड वर्क बाय इधर इनहिबिटिंग देयर ग्रोथ और बाय किलिंग देम some example of antibiotic black pepper is a good natural antibiotic there are some man made antibiotics like penicillin streptomycin amoxicillin these are some man made antibiotics and antibiotics are usually taken in the form of pills or injection some are uh, some are externally applied as creams and they were originally obtained for, uh, from microorganisms such as bacteria and fungi the second type of medicine is analgesic analgesic are uh, one type of medicine analgesic are medicines that are used for relieving pains analgesic are medicines that are used for relieving pain aspirin paracetamol these are some example of analgesic aspirin paracetamol some examples of analgesic okay next antipyretics these are also medicine so antipyretics are medicines that uh, that reduce fever okay so as antibiotics uh, reduce fever some example of antipyretics uh, medicine aspirin paracetamol okay so aspirin paracetamol these are antipyretics they are uh, the uh, aspirin paracetamol are also one type of analgesic okay so aspirin paracetamol are also used for antipyretic okay and the herb tulsi is also a good antipyretics next antiseptics antiseptics are medicines that prevents the growth of microorganism antiseptics are medicines that prevents the growth of microorganism some example of antiseptics turmeric and marigold are good natural antiseptics turmeric and marigold are good natural antiseptics okay next antihistamines antihistamine these are medicines that prevents or cure uh, or cure allergic reaction so to cure allergic reaction in our body we have to take antihistamine medicine so antihistamine are medicines that prevent or cure or cure allergic reactions such as rashes and breathlessness next antacid antacid are medicines that give relief from the excess of acid produced in stomach antacid are medicine that give relief from the excessive of acid produced in stomach some example of antacids are milk of magnesia is a good antacid milk of magnesia means suspension of magnesium hydroxide in water mixture of magnesium hydroxide in water is known as milk of magnesia and it is a good antacid milk of magnesia is used to, uh, to relieve the burning sensation or stomach pain due to acidity so you have to remember all this type of uh, definition of all these type of medicines and their different uh, properties okay that is which type of medicine used is used for which type of disease like anti antihistamine used for used to prevent 
allergic reaction. Antacid is used to uh, neutralize excess acid in our body. Antiseptics are used to uh, to stop or prevent the growth of microorganism. Okay, like this, what, what are analgesic, what are antiseptics, what are antipyretics, all these type of medicines you have to remember with examples. Okay, so chemistry has many important roles in chemi uh, in medic uh, medicine, in cloth, okay, cloth industry and in uh, cosmetics. Okay, and again next day I will discuss the remaining part of this chapter by students